and the red and black of Whitford High School, Brian McLaughlin. Okay, so we're at so we're at 160 pounds right now. Um, if you haven't watched the 152-pound match, Luca and I will both recommend that you go back and watch it. It was tremendously exciting. And it featured the freshman sensation, Joseph Hatcher of Piscataway, who you're watching now in the Black Gulf of Piscataway is last year's freshman sensation, Michael Petit. Now, Mike finished third here last year, had a great tournament, actually finished as the runner-up at District 19, and then went up to Region 5, unseated, and just got hot. Wrestlers get hot in tournaments. Mike was the perfect example. Wound up winning the Region Championship, being uh, named the Outstanding Wrestler of Region 5. And uh, he truly was the freshman success sensation last year. Now, his opponent uh, is uh, no slouch. Our number one seed, Brian McLaughlin. Um, Brian is uh, just a junior. He's 22 and three on the season. He's 93 and 15 on the career on his career. He won here last year at 152 pounds, and he uh, he was there the 152 pound district champ in District 19 and finished second in the region at 152, qualifying for the uh, state championships down in Atlantic City. Brian with a takedown uh, leads 2-0 here, and this was a match I think a lot of people were. Uh, kind of focusing on you know you got uh, two state-ranked wrestlers two tremendous wrestlers um, Mike Michael's only loss Michael's only loss is to a boy from DePaul who's state ranked McLaughlin's got two losses both at the or three losses at the Beast of the East um, down in uh, in Delaware a pre uh, opening season tournament and uh, these two kids are uh, are truly truly two of the best in our, in our conference Refer refereeing the match is Anthony Zulo. One point escape for Petit. Anthony Zulo is the ref. Uh, Louis Del Monte is the assistant ref. They are members of the New Jersey Wrestling Official Association, the central chapter, whose generosity has funded this broadcast, and we, we do appreciate uh, their support. For uh, We do appreciate their support in allowing us to do that. So that is the end of the first period. Uh, the score is two to one. Uh, McLaughlin is ahead. McLaughlin won the toss, chose defense. McLaughlin actually won the freshman nationals a couple years back. It's not an NJSIA tournament, obviously. This is considered an off-season tournament. Yeah, it's a post-season tournament. There's freshman nationals, sophomore nationals, junior nationals, senior nationals, and uh, but it's highly competitive. I mean, it's they they come from all over to, to compete in that. It's highly competitive. We're in a unique scramble right now. Uh, Pettit holding on to the leg. It looks like McLaughlin's trying to get a reverse out of it. Not 100% sure how this is going to end up. There's a takedown. Reverse. So cor correction, reversal. So it Four is. 4-1 McLaughlin. And a minute and 10 seconds left. McLaughlin's road to the finals. Last night he pinned uh, Chancellor Cooper of Oldbridge in 51 seconds. Quarter finals this morning uh, pinned Jahan of Carteret in a minute 22. And then in the semifinals, um, it was a technical fall against Nick Francesco of uh, South Plainfield. He was the number one seed. Michael, the number two seed, had a fall last night over Nick Jensen of Bishop R in 29 seconds, and then a fall this morning over Matt Miskanik of East Brunswick in 28 seconds. Pettit just earned an escape. The score is now four to two with 40 seconds remaining. And then a major decision in the in the semifinals, 13 to four, over Jared Parrison of Monroe. So you've got two wrestlers in the finals, one who got here, with a tech and one who got here with a major. Now it's pretty impressive because usually some of your semifinal matches are some of your most competitive. And they both had two pins prior, prior to, to that. that in under three minutes total. Actually in under two minutes and 15 seconds total. 10 seconds remaining in the match and neither wrestler is aware of that. They're still going hard. Time expires, it's now the third period. 
Petit chooses defense. Petit going for a reversal. He gets the reversal, scores four to four. McLaughlin returns the favor, reverses Petit straight to his back. And he's also getting two back points out of it too. The score is now eight to four. So just to recap, it was four to two. Petit got the reversal. It was four to two, uh, four to four. McLaughlin reversed him to his back. Prior to the back points, that makes it six to four. Ended up with two back points. It is now eight to four. There is a minute and ten seconds remaining. Petit escapes with a fancy spin move. It is now eight to five. Yeah, Petit's got to get on his horse here. He's got to get busy. He's down three. You know, I mean, a takedown would close it to one, but um, you know, under a minute now, he needs he needs at least two takedowns. Two takedowns and with an escape in the middle, pretty much ties the match. But uh, he's uh, Michael's got his work cut out for him here, and they go out of bounds with 42 seconds to go. So if you read today's, uh, of course, today being Saturday the uh, 29th, uh, if you read today's Home News Tribune or on MySisterJersey.com, you read the story about Woodbridge wrestling with heavy hearts. Uh, their coach, Mike Carbone, his mother-in-law passed away uh, Wednesday night. Mike actually got a text message from his wife in the middle of the match and, uh, you know, finished the match and then basically bolted out of there. And Mike was not with the team last night and uh, is, is, has been here all day today. And, I'm sure it's, you know, Mike's in the corner and, and uh, him and Joe LaCorey and uh, doing a tremendous job. Woodbridge is actually the number three ranked team in the county, right behind South Plainfield 1, Oldbridge 2. And Oldbridge and Woodbridge are in a dogfight for second place right now. And that's the end of your match. McLaughlin is now your GMC champion, winning 8 to 5. By decision by the score of 8 to 5 from Woodbridge, Brian McLaughlin.